Today we are doing the sweat test. Now this test is essential for anyone doing any long distance events. It's gonna tell us your most optimal hydration plan that you'll need to keep yourself fueled on those long distance events. So the test is actually really easy to do. We've already started this morning. I got butt naked and I measured my weight. I'm now just about to go on a 30 minute run at my marathon pace, and then I'm gonna measure my weight after. That's gonna tell me how much water weight I've lost during that run. We're then gonna use a really simple formula to figure out our sweat rate and therefore that's gonna guide my hydration plan on the day. Let's rip in. So guys, we know that your sweat rate varies significantly from person to person. That's why it's worthwhile everyone giving this a go. Now the reason why I'm doing this sweat test today is I've signed up for the Canva Marathon in six months time. Now to achieve my time of three hours and 30 minutes, I'm gonna to need to optimize everything training plan, nutrition plan, but also hydration plan. And this today is gonna to help guide that. So I'm just about four Ks in, two to go. Ew. Whoa. That is 30 minutes, 6.12 kilometers. So average about that 455 pace, which is the goal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back home I'm gonna dry myself off completely. Then I'm gonna take my weight again. What that's gonna do is it's gonna tell me the amount of sweat that I've lost during this run. And then we're gonna use the weight difference to, to work out my sweat rate using a formula. Now to do this test properly, you need to get all the sweat off. So not a drop left. And we're gonna drop the dax. It's time to retest. So we've just done the retest. Now I started 100.4 kilos, and after 30 minutes of running, I've come back at 99.35 kilos. So that's 1.05 kilos or 1,050 milliliters lost during 30 minutes of exercise. So to figure out my sweat rate, which is done over an hour, we just need to double it. So that's 2.1 kilos or 2,100 milliliters of sweat loss per hour of exercise. Now this might be a little bit higher because it was a higher intensity than what I'm currently fit for. It's what I'm aiming for at the marathon in six months time. So that might skew the results a little bit, but it definitely gives us a rough goal for what I need to aim for in my fluid replacement when I'm doing my longer training runs right now. Now, DB probably mentioned it, but there is a few variables that you need to make sure are in line when you wanna do your sweat test. And you really wanna try and match your race conditions. So running at the same time of morning, running at your marathon pace so that you have the same sweat response. And then also keeping into account humidity, temperature, and what clothing you're wearing as well are all things you wanna try and keep constant. The reason why we sweat during exercise is it's our body's attempt to regulate our body temperature. As we sweat, water leaves our bloodstream, it excretes to the skin, and that process cools our body temperature down. Now this relies on us excreting water. So as we lose our water, we become dehydrated. And that's why it's really important that we have a, a solid rehydration plan to replace what we're sweating out. Now, when you're in a long distance event, the key number of sweat loss that you don't want to exceed is 2.5% of your body weight. And when you surpass that amount of sweat loss, that leads to reduced performance and risk of dehydration. So when you've worked out your sweat rate through doing a sweat test, you don't need to replenish 100% of the fluids that you've lost. If you do that, that'll most likely lead to overhydration, which can lead to feeling slow, sluggish, and also risks such as hyponatremia as well. You just need to find the perfect balance for you that will keep you above that 2.5% body weight sweat loss. And that's why this test is perfect for you. 